Look at this, everyone. A beautiful herd of elephant. Remember, while we were driving, we saw those other two. I said there were definitely tracks of a herd that's come through, and those two bulls might have been following. I think that's exactly what's happened here. They are following this herd, and look at that little baby playing in the water. He's tiny, tiny, tiny little baby. Beautiful calf. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm in my element now. These are one of my favorite animals, and it's so great to be able to see them at a water hole. And they are really enjoying it. It's been a nice warm day. We've had a few cool days the last two or three. So it's been really warm today. They are enjoying this water and a bit of mud. <laughs> is fantastic. Look how tiny that little one is. Just off to there we go. Look at that. Oh just so cute. At that age that little elephant does not know how to use its trunk yet. <laughs> Probably, you see, trying to drink with its mouth. It can't use its trunk yet and to pour the water into its mouth. So it will just put its head right down. It will definitely still be suckling from its mom, uh, from that female that's close to it. But it will start to try and learn how to drink water. Ah. So Aaron in Florida has asked how we can tell the difference between an elephant cow and a bull. So Aaron, one of the first things you can look at is if you see an elephant like this, um, if you look up at that forehead, let's see that one, that, yeah, there we go, VM is just focused on that there, that is a female, so you can see just hang on, there's a beautiful female getting quite close to us on the right with the baby. Look at that, very close to us. So this female right here in front of us, if you have a look at her head over there, see it's a very sharp angular shape and that is typical of females. Males have got a much rounder forehead and that would be the first thing you could look at. The other thing is, let's have a look where this younger elephant is suckling from. The females have their mammary glands under the front legs. You might just be able to see it over there. Yep. That is also a sign that you could look for. The males obviously do not have that. Wow, oh, this is incredible. Look how she's smelling. There's a, a buffalo skull, an old buffalo skull down there. The female is just smelling it. They, I think elephants are incredibly intelligent. And they, they can probably still just smell, um, or trying to work out what that skull is. Um, very interesting behavior. See how she's hanging around this carcass. There's a lot of bones here. It's definitely from a buffalo kill. Still just smelling. But they're very close to us now, about five meters away, six meters. This is very, very special. Quite a few of them still drinking. Those just moving off probably had enough water. And what they'll do is they'll just continue moving around and looking for food, feeding while the rest of these finish up. This is such a beautiful scene. A 
and now so peaceful, completely happy with us being here, not phased with us at all. It's amazing to see how they suck the water up with their trunks and then lower that water into their mouth, just like that. See, lifting the trunk and drinking. So they, they don't really blow it out, all that happens is they rely on gravity and the water then flows out of the trunk into the mouth as they lift it up and they drink that way. They can take quite a lot of water into their trunks, about 8 to 10 liters. So Robin from Maryland has asked an interesting question about the elephant and what keeps the water from going all the way up through the nasal cavity when it goes up their trunk. So they have got valves and they do control it and there's, the trunk is made up of so many muscles so they can control it very well. They won't suck it all the way up right into the, the nasal cavity um, but what they'll do is they'll suck it up, hold it and then, and then as they release the, um, when they are lifting their trunk they release it and it flows down into their mouth but there are thousands of muscles within that trunk. It really is an incredible appendage. See these two still drinking intently. Incredible sound, very interesting vocalization come from that elephant. And that could have been for a number of reasons. Maybe it was just a little bit agitated with that adult behind it. It is in a tricky spot there at the moment, struggling to get out. It's amazing how elephants can climb there and climb up really steep embankments and go down the most incredible places if they have to. Another beautiful female walking towards us. I hope you are all enjoying this as much as I am. Perfect for a Saturday afternoon. See, herds like this of elephant predominantly consist of the females and a lot of the, the, the calves or the youngsters, but mainly, mainly females. There will be young males within this herd, but once they get to a certain age, like those first two that we saw earlier, they generally get pushed out of the herd. The reason for that is that the females just are a little bit hesitant with having those young bulls. They get a bit boisterous, they, they, they cause a bit of unrest within the herd. So they get pushed out and then what happens is those males will go and try and meet up with big dominant bulls. And those bulls then teach those younger males how to be more successful, how to be dominant and how to look for females when they are ready to mate. But for now, in a herd like this, it's mainly the youngsters with the, the adult females, but there will be some young males there too.